This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place for you to get TCGO code cards. They already have Darkness Ablaze up on stock, so definitely check out the website and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. They have a huge variety of code cards, so you'll definitely find something you like. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. If you're from Europe, you're obligated to check out this website. You can purchase cards on here as well as sell your own cards to people all across Europe. And uh, they have huge uh, bargain sales right here as well as best sellers. And you can even uh, purchase physical cards uh, for instance, booster boxes of the new set. So definitely check it out. Uh, my Both of my sponsors, BoatDownStore.com as well as CardMarket.com. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel today. It's time for us to be taking a closer look at Sable IV and revisit the archetype because it actually got way better thanks to Turbo Patch. Turbo Patch lets us accelerate energies from the discard pile to our uh, basic Pokemon that are not GXs, for instance Sable Eye. It can accelerate energies and then you can use Crazy Claws in one turn. No need for so uh, obscure supporters like Beat. Just Turbo Patch, if one lands successfully you're gonna try and win games because the damage stacks like crazy. Uh, you slap 10 damage plus 60 more for every damage counter on the opponent's active Pokemon. And with stuff like Oracorio and uh, Lieutenant Surge, if you're falling behind, you're gonna have a huge hand. And then you're gonna try and use Roxy. Roxy can actually uh, discard some Weezings and some Coughings for us to then just put one damage counter on every one of the opposing Pokemon for every Weezing or a Coughing we discarded in that way. And uh, with the help of Roxy and uh, stuff like Zigzagoon, you can actually one-shot everything in the game. Even V-Maxes, I don't care about that. Sable IV can one shot them. We have cards like the Viridian Force which can help us get energies but also get stuff in the discard pile so we can uh, abuse Turbo Patch. That's also the reason why we're running the Dene over Crobat so discarding sometimes can be a huge asset because with Ordinary Rod you can definitely get it back and you go to your deck way quicker. So uh, this is a very unique archetype uh, that I created myself and hopefully it'll turn out okay. Don't uh, forget about Obstagoon being able to close off games or win games against stuff like Baby Blounts or ADP Station because those decks typically only revolve around basic Pokemon. So let's see how it, uh, the archetype goes. Uh, I cannot promise you guys that we will win but we're gonna have some fun today so hopefully you guys are uh, excited for this video. If you are be sure to let me know by destroying that like button. And without further ado, let's get the stuff going. We're gonna probably go first. I don't know what we're up against. If it's Picaram, probably gonna be punished by that, but yeah, it's fine. We start with a Zigzagoon. The good news about this kind of an archetype is that you can use Quick Ball and uh, get an energy onto your Sableye instantly. Alright, Porygon Z, Recycle Energy. Don't know what we're up against, to be honest. Could be Salamence, could be something else entirely. We're gonna get that extra card, thank you very much. Double Turbo Patch. Well, it's Salamence, okay. We have Rare Candy. We can go into the Obstagoon uh, very shortly. That is very, very plausible. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna get rid of one Turbo Patch since we do have the attachment of the turn right here. Yeah. Let's get ourselves Sableye. How many rocks is in here? Three Roxies, it's good. This over here, attachment over there. Evolution Incense could also go uh, for a Weezing so we can Roxy, so we're gonna wait with that. Although getting out an Obstagoon would be fun. I think the better option is going for Roxy at its full potential. There is a Capture Energy, so he's probably gonna get himself the Porygon, as we've seen before. We already uh, showcased this deck uh, before. Okay, no supporters, that is very bizarre. So now that I think about it, let's go for the, instead of the Roxy spread combo, let's go with Obstagoon first. Obstagoon, we do have Scoop Up Net so we can reuse some stuff. And uh, we're actually trying to get the Salamence down instantly. Also, <laughs> getting rid of the Porygon would be awesome as well. Alright, but you do have triple Salarate Energy, so that's why we're going after Salamence first. Uh, here comes the Research, we need a Scoop Up and an Energy. Either will work fine. Okay, let's get this going. Sableye there. We can... Yeah, the, the, the Roxy combos are legit in this scenario, but I think I will go for the... The Dene. So we can actually one-shot this fella. Okay, communication. We will save... A coughing. 
getting ourselves Galarian Zigzagoon. We're already at three damage counters. That means this fella, I don't know if you see it or not, is actually able to slap 190. And 190 is enough to take care of this fella. So let's start and uh, hunt after the Prorigan for now. Slapping down our Sableye and go for the Dunny. The only thing we need is a scoop up net. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Or it is. <laughs> it is that hard. This deck is full of special energy, so yeah. Yeah, I guess we're stuck. I guess we're stuck. It's fine as it is because if we evolve into Upsagoon right here, we one shot the VMAX, which gives us an extra prize card. But technically, yeah, this fella, yeah, it's the VMAX. It's the VMAX. We will probably take an additional prize card for that. So we're gonna use Rare Candy, use Upsagoon, knock this guy out. Probably gonna see the Dene or Crobat. Either will work fine for the opponent. Hopefully, we will draw into stuff like another Turbo Patch. If he has Boss Swords, it will be detrimental for us. Crazy Code. Triple Accelerator Energy, and now the Dene. Okay, if he finds Boss Swords, I will be very, very afraid. If he doesn't, we should be fine. It's just a tree prize, right? We uptrade. Oh, what is this? Milo, discard up to two cards from your hand and then draw two cards for every... Oof. What do you want to discard? That is a very funky supporter. <laughs> well, have you ever? I don't know if you guys ever seen Milo in action, but this is the video, fellas. This is the video. 240. Yo, that Salamence packs quite the punch. It's time for some Sableye action. Okay. Time for <laughs> Ups the Goon. Yeah, putting damage on this guy, setting this guy up. Viridian, I think Viridian is a good option, right? So we're gonna use Viridian, getting rid of an energy, getting an energy back. We do have turbo patches, so it's fine. We're gonna go with Quick Ball, getting rid of an energy, get uh, a coughing. <laughs> and now here comes, yeah, maybe we should have done this differently, by the way. Because Roxy actually punishes everything, and uh, that 30 snipe could actually uh, would have one shot at the Porygon. For sure. Oh, look at that go. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, we should have done that differently. Now we don't have an attachment on our Sableye, which is very, very crucial. Crazy Claws! 490. Insane. It is insane. Okay, we have a Zigzagoon, we have a Poke Gear, so that at least will get us a Roxy and a Boss's Orders. Okay. Need to find one Turbo Patch that can land successfully. Don't know if he's playing Marnies. There's like two Marnies in his discard already. If he's not using Marnie, we can. Yeah. Find Roxy with the Poke Gear. It's our last Roxy, by the way. Cycle Energy on the Porygon. Probably gonna attack with Salamence. Salamence only slaps 160. That means Sableye. Oh, another Marnie. Okay. Quick Ball could find stuff like the Oracorio to draw cards. You can also scoop up the Obstagoon once again to slap some more damage around. Quick Ball Salamence. <laughs> no, 490. We should have played that differently, by the way. We could have actually one-shotted the Salamence with uh, the addition of Roxy. Roxy would have put the Salamence V at five damage counters, and then this guy would have been knocked out already. And now Bossaurus could have won, a, won us the game at this point. So yeah, it takes a little bit of time and practice to uh, uh, master this archetype, but it's very fun nevertheless. You can one-shot VMAXs all day long, don't worry about them. We have Obstagoon for some difficult matchups like ADP. So, yeah. What is going on now? Discharge. What is it gonna do? Flip three coins. Energy cards. Searching energy cards. I think there was one heads. Sableye can knock this guy out. At least we have ourselves another turn. We just need to set up Sableye. Sableye can slap 100. Okay, we have the attachment of the turn, which is totally busted. We can scoop up the Obstagoon family using this. Actually, we uh, with two damage counters, we slap 130, right? So. I think at that point we just have boss's orders in hand, so we just target down the Dedene. Use the uh, Viridian Force, finding our last physical energy. We do have some High Darkness energy left. 
and there's no need for Poke Gear or a Quick Ball because yeah, we just one shot this fella. Crazy Claw. Don't think he has reset stamp. He could have reset stamp, but at least these cards are still in the deck afterwards, right? I think. Now that I think about it, I'm just gonna go with Quick Ball. <laughs> gonna get rid of this instantly, and uh, we will get a Zigzagoon. Yeah, our Oracorio is definitely priced. Definitely priced. Okay. Don't need Zigzagoon, but yeah, let's get Zigzagoon anyhow. Let's go with Crazy Claws. 130. Okay, we have the energy, we have the boss artist, that's fine. We have another energy, okay. Two we still have two Poke Gears and a boss artist. I think two boss artists left, right? Could have actually targeted down the Porygon Z by the way. <laughs> Could have done that. But I don't think he has another Marnie, right? He's played three Marnie, so <laughs> another Marnie! Ladies and gentlemen! <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's insane. It's insane. Just need to top deck the boss doors. Come on Although we did have another save life, so we still need to knock out three Pokemon Okay, energy gone. That's very 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 crazy Swoop across, okay Scoop up Uh, yeah, let me just check the discard real quick. We have... We can use Loot Search to find Poke Gear to find Boss's Orders. Or we can st uh, start attacking this guy. Ha! Huh, wait, yeah, there's two Boss's Orders left, right? If we put two damage counters on here, we slap 130. Now we just need to find one energy. Yeah, it's fine as it is. I think in a scenario like this, I think our win con is not boss's orders. Because if we use Poke Gear and find boss's orders, we still need to find an energy, right? Yeah, we still need to find an energy afterwards. Let's go with Crazy Claws while we're at it. Top decking an energy would be fantastic. 130. We could have also used High Darkness Energy to retreat to the other one and attack and use Loot Search with the other one to find ourselves something like Research. Could have been an option. Cramorant? Hello? Cynthia Catlin drawing in three cards. Will he find an energy? That is the question. If he finds an energy, our Sableye sees the discard pile, which is crazy. Either way, top deck energy would be fine. You don't know it's that, if that's gonna happen or not. Okay, retreating to the Cramorant. Crazy coach time. Okay, now Cramorant is going to snipe all of our Pokemon away. No! What is this? All these Marnies. He's playing four Marnies in a row. Or three Marnies in a row. Either way, it is ridiculous. Evolution Incense. How do, how do we go about this? How do we go about this? Is he gonna go with Beat Catch? Crazy Coat? No, he's just gonna knock out our Active Sableye. I think I'll go for the Loot Search now. While we're at it. So we can find Research. Maybe still... Oof. What? Getting rid of the Zigzagoon. Crazy, but okay. Poke Gear. That is crazy, but I'll take it. Roxy. One, two. Yeah, here you go. Look at all these fantastic cards. Damage on everything. Okay. Communication. Zigzag. Zigzag madness. Hooray! We got this, fellas. This deck is legit. Scoop up. <laughs> Look at this deck go. Funny. 
Well played. These Marnies were killing us, man. These Marnies were killing us. <sighs> Woo! So yeah, this deck is so much fun. It's too bad that Oracoria was prized, but we just slapped that Salamence in the face. Even after like bazillion Marnies, two, 1200 damage that Sableye did. That's very impressive. You can say a lot about Sableye V that it doesn't have a lot of HP and all that. But slapping that amount of damage is legit. <laughs> okay, one more for the road. Come on, give us something else. No Salamence. Cosmic Eclipse deck box. Is it ADP? Lucaria coin. Pretty fancy. Tails never fails. We won the coin flip. Uh, and this list you also want to go always gonna want to go first so we can have that attachment on Sableye if you find it Oh double bosses orders in, in our hands That's nasty Very nasty. I'm obligated. Uh, let's hope we top back in there. Okay. This is Energy spend this is ADP zation very very difficult matchup We can uh, have lone ups the good madness going around we could do that, or we can go for the den. The den is the bad is a bad choice, to be honest. Okay, we already have Roxy in hand. Hmm. Going for the den is very bad. I reckon you that. I'm gonna go for a quick ball. Try to get us maybe those Upsagoon. Two rare candies in here. Two Upsagoon in here. Okay. I think in this matchup you want to go for Obstagoon instantly. We don't have an attachment of the turn just yet, but... Uh, and on this scenario, I'm glad... We did, we're gonna use Roxy anyhow on this guy. And maybe scoop up Net, so I think I will go for Jirachi instead. We're gonna use Roxy later, Quick Ball. It's okay, it's okay. Because if we take this guy down, uh, and simultaneously with the ADP, we are actually gonna have an edge, unless he relies on scoop up Nets. Then we are busted. <laughs> okay. Next turn we can use Quick Ball. Probably gonna get rid of a boss's orders and go go for Roxy Spread. We have that attachment of the turn. I I wish he's gonna go uh, and get himself the ADP. Switch. Okay. Getting a switch with Jirachi is not the best thing. Definitely if you use Stellar Wish first before you play a supporter. Okay, that's very good. Our boss's orders are safe. We get woof. Rough stuff. <laughs> what? What is this? You got Marty into like garbage. Uh, yeah. There's no. If we draw a Pokemon, we will have to rely on the Danny, unfortunately. If not, I think we will go with the uh, Lone Ups to Goon Stall mechanic. Okay, pre rotation build of ADP. Saucer going onto the uh, station. He already used Stellar Wish, so his uh, Jirachi will probably be stuck for now. Quick Ball, get rid of another energy, another Jirachi pops up. Interesting. Switch, another Stellar Wish, Saucer. Oof, is he gonna go for the Dunk? Da -da -da -dunk. No energies in this card, okay. Stellar Wish, no supporter, please. He already Martin does anyhow, so. Energy Spinner. Energy Spinner, Water Energy, Intrepid Sword, right? Or even more energies if he wants to. It's a second turn. Okay, three energies and then Intrepid Sword. We are in a scary situation. For sure, we had a good hand. It's gone thanks to Marnie. There's nothing we can do. Okay, I'll gladly take that. This again. Uh, yeah, now that I think about it, we definitely need to go after the ADP for now. Research! Uh, all these energies going down the drain. Ooh, rare candy Upsagoon. Ooh. Rare candy Upsagoon. Still no energies whatsoever. Damage. We have Roxy spread combos. Yeah. We can use Roxy simultaneously with this, so I will go after Jijirachi now because imagine we use Rare Candy on Obstagoon, this goes to, to 4 damage counters and with Roxy it's even further, so let's go with the Jirachi. And just passing it out here. Come on, this is ridiculous. Our Sableye is just sitting there with zero energies, no energies in this card as well. 
Yeah, use your alter cre another Marnie. Ah, oh. Marnie after Marnie after Marnie is not getting us anywhere. We do have Save Alive, which can use Loot Search. Probably will go for Obstagoon Madness, to be honest. After Alter Creation Jax, Save Alive can go to the Discard Pile. Uh, the Zigzagoon can go to the Discard Pile. Oh boy. Switching, and here comes Alter Creation Jax. It puts us on a clock, to be honest. Those Maris uh, definitely are not helping with us. Another Zigzagoon. How many scoop-ups in here? Only one. Pokegear! Finding nothing! Nothing at all! Okay. Mm hmm Yeah. I think it's gonna have to be Loot Search. Ripperoni! Yeah, Pokegear could find ourselves some stuff, but I think research probably gonna be the best bet. We already proven ourselves against Salamence V that the deck is legit, but getting Marnie so frequently with great hands, uh, great hands is not working. Typically, you would just knock this guy out with the Crazy Claws, knock this for res residual damage with Roxy, and then knock out another station. But uh, tur two Turbo Patch down the drain, he knocks us another Marnie. Ah. Uh, should have attached to the Zigzagoon. Three Marines in a row. Way too much to handle. We do have rare candy though. So imagine drawing uh, into like Obstagoon as well as um, as a Turbo Patch that lands successfully. That would be insane, right? We still have a little bit of time on our hand. He still needs boss orders. Probably will have boss orders. Yeah, well, everybody has energies now. Three prize cards for the Sable IV. Yeah, this is definitely a difficult matchup when you get Marnie over and over and over again. Come on. Apostles orders. Nothing. These Poke Gears do absolutely nothing. Yeah. Stay stuck in the active. Let's hope. Come on. Like, what is going on? Three poke gear, everything fails in this match. What is going on? He probably needs to like gust the glare in Zigzagoon because if we top deck um, a research or a Roxy, we could actually get Obstagoon and uh, an energy. And that would be very crazy. Okay, two prize cards for the Zigzagoon. Yeah, probably gonna be playing one more game to showcase if it's going so quickly. Come on! Yeah, no Roxy. <laughs> well played. We're gonna be playing one more game with our crazy funky build. We've already proven that uh, we slaughter VMAXs, but against ADP it's a little bit more difficult because he takes additional prize cards. Like he can no longer afford to play like the Denny down as well as Sableye or you lose the game. If we didn't get Marnie, we could have gotten out our Obstagoon and that would have won us the game, but sometimes it is what it is. Okay, will this be Scorch? is the question. Scorch or Baby Blounce or Charizard VMAX? All of them should be pretty okay. Because Blacephalon now loses uh, Bursting Burn, which is a huge part of their win con against Obstagoon. Okay, we lost the coin flip. Let's see. Ta -da. Well, this is a ridiculous, ridiculous turn. Yeah, probably this is the best part. Okay, maybe we top deck a Roxy. That would be like fantastic. We'll see. Okay. Sableye, are you ready to slap a bazillion amount of damage? That is the question for today. Scourge V. Sent Scourge V, if he goes first he can attach, afterwards he can Weld Run attach, that's 4 energies, that's 160, so we should survive. We should survive. For actually 4 energies, that's 200 I think. Yeah, 40 plus 40 more, yeah. Pretty scary. Maybe we should have like started with like Zigzagoon instead. 
So we could have saved our Sable IV. Anyhow, we can also save our Sable IV on the bench. We'll see how it goes. Quick bolt the Dene. Another Senti Scorch. Okay, double Senti Scorch. No supporters cannot be played. Maybe he already has Welder and two energies in hand. You never know. But us having a Dedene and a Zigzagoonch. Okay, Crobat V. Drawing in four cards on the first turn. This card is busted, right? We've seen it before with Shaman. All these guys have more HP thanks to Big Charm. We definitely need to have some damage uh, modifications going around to get the numbers. Zigzagoon, damage here. Sableye. Uh, it's unfortunate that we gotta get rid of like two uh, blow away bombs. <laughs> what is this? No energies? Yeah. This is not working out. Two damage counters on there. We have Turbo Patch, but no energies. It's the same scenario. No Roxy, no energy, no Poke Gear, no Quick Ball, nothing. Quick Ball again. Probably will see the Dene. Jirachi, okay. Research. Okay, our Sable IV will survive one more turn. And what can we do? The good news is that the Giant Heart will allow us to discard our Darkness Energy if we draw one. To use Turbo Patch. The only thing we need is Poke Gear or Roxy. Radiating Heat. Okay, we'll slap 20 damage. If only we would have gotten energies. We used the Dene. That's all we did actually. The only thing we did is like use the Dene. Now there's a crazy Senta Scorch popping around here, 120. Come on! Quick ball. Quick ball could grab at least something. Like the Oracorio or whatever. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> Sable IV will get discarded. We do have scoop up net, so we're gonna promote Zigzagoon and then see what we we get. Okay, that's one Santa Scorch V Max. If we are able to do the full combo and get stuff going, it will be awesome to showcase. The only thing we need is like Turbo Patch landing successfully. Welder on the bench and Scorch is reasonable. This guy does slap 180, so it would be stupid to have for, of him to just get two V-Maxes out. Also, with 50 extra HP, he has 370. That means we need six damage counters on this guy. Quick ball, Oracorio, Oracorio, Poke Gear, Poke Gear, Roxy, Roxy, damage spreads, uh, some scoop up nets as well. Maybe we can get there. Okay, two Senti Scorch. Pretty scary. Okay, this guy has four energies right right now. Zigzag. Double scoop up. Okay. Quick ball, Oracorio, come on Oracorio, you just need to find your Roxy, you just need to find the Roxy or the Poke Gear. Nope, we do not have anything, do not have anything, we do have an energy on the Sableye, at least we have that, don't know if he has bosses or not. So a couple of scoop up nets. We also have rare candy, which could spread some more damage. Yeah, not working out for sure. Double scoop up. Research. Probably gonna welder, right? Okay, welder. 
That's no uh, boss orders. That's good. We have boss orders in our list, so we could be doing something. Okay, scoop up, rare candy. Come on. Like, these anti scorches are insane. They have, like, a lot of energies right now. G Max Sentiferno, getting more another prize card. So, would you look at that? Roxy pops up, finally. Yeah, damage on everything, please. <laughs> Look at that go. That's hilarious. We still have access to Dance of the Tributes. We can use Quick Ball finding uh, another Sableye first. Because we already have Zigzagoon combos. Like six damage counters. That is. Oof. A lot of damage. Let's get the Sableye while we're at it. And then Dance of the Tributes. Look at all this. No Obstagoon, however. So, attachment here. Slapping this down. Scooping up the Zigzagoon. Promoting this. Zigzagoon damage. Bam. Zigzagoon damage. Bang. Scoop up. Zigzagoon. Scoop up. Zigzagoon. Okay, at this point, this guy, she's the discard pile. If he attacks with that, it's also fine. Zigzagoon, bam. Zigzagoon, bam. Whoa. Would you look at that. The boss's orders probably will not be necessary anymore. Don't know if he has Marnie. Re one reset stamp down. Because... Yeah, the rare candies are nice, but imagine... Roxy, he could Marnie us or reset stamp us, right? That is an option. The top deck and a rare candy is also not gonna do as well. Although, how many scoop ups in here? Three. We want have one scoop up left. Yeah. Let's go, crazy claws. 370 damage. Look at that. Whoo! Evolution incense will get us the Obstagoon. Okay, we're finally back in this game. We have bosses orders. We have Turbo Patch. We still have three of them in the deck. Probably will not afford to just go after Oracorio. He could go after Oracorio and then reset stamp at the same time. But as soon as we get a Zigzagoon and a scoop up net it's over okay this is looking out to be okay okay what is he gonna do does he have reset stamp or marnie if not he's gonna be done for although if he knocks out sableye he might think that we don't have what it takes but turbo patch will allow us to go even more overboard okay that's welder that's no marnie Ooh. this guy has 350 hp 350 means five damage counters yeah, five damage counters, all it takes. Just need to accelerate the energies to the uh, Sable IV. That's all we need to do. Come on, Turbo Patch. Double Turbo Patch, that's good. Turbo Patch, come on, man. Double Tails? Oh my god. Double freaking Tails. Evolution Incense. Well, at this point, we have communication. Yeah, it's not going to do the trick. We need this first. That is insane. That is insane. Yeah, the boss's order is no longer necessary. Whoa, double tails on the turbo patch. Research. The turbo patches are so scary. You have no idea. 
can use the Roxy to draw s more cards. It doesn't matter. Rare Candy. Ups the Goon. <laughs> oh, dang it. What was that? Could have also, like, maybe three damage counters there, then the Roxy. Could have not gotten there. Damage everywhere. Come on. Turbo Patch? Turbo Patch? No Turbo Patch. Ah, that is so sad. Was it in the deck? Or was it priced? It was priced, so it doesn't matter. The chances are legit. Flipping both tails on the Turbo Patch. If one was heads, we would have won against that. But still, very, very nice to see that... Um, you have a good deck. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, we would have won this match if it wasn't for the coin flips. Double tails. What are the chances? You have a 75% odds of landing a heads. But on Tishy Joe, that does not happen. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very shortly. Peace out. Thank you.